Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the August 11th post and making a couple comments on it, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Here we go. Forgiveness is a form of love and self-love. When you forgive a sister, you remind her that it is not her body or what she says or does that is of importance or real about her. It is her beautiful, eternal, changeless soul that you see. You and your sister are one, and you can only truly offer who you are. Thus, what you see reflecting from her is simply a mirror of what you believe your internal self contains. Offer forgiveness and you will be reinforcing in you that your truth is also beautiful, changeless, and eternal. Offer her gratitude that she has gifted you the opportunity to remember, see, and express your true self. For the more you practice being a reflection of your true, true self, the more natural and available it will feel. Today, we will, we will remember how loving and self-loving it is to forgive and accept yourself as you were created by your Creator to be. Today, let us remember how beautiful and loving and self-loving the act of forgiveness is. When you forgive a sister, you look past all the ego's fairy tales. You look past her body. You look past what she might say or do. You look past her past and her future. And you return to the eternal present moment. God sources gift to us. And you look instead upon her changeless and eternal nature, her soul. When we look upon her soul, we are reminded that we too are changeless and eternal. For we can only offer her and this planet what we believe ourselves to be. And so when we see ourselves as loving, compassionate, beautiful beings, this gets projected, extended outward into the world, touching everything and everyone. And therefore, our sisters are forgiven because the ego's book is closed and we only see the truth in her because we acknowledge the truth in ourselves. And so today, let us offer gratitude to our sisters for allowing us the opportunity to remember our truth by seeing it reflected in them and by doing so remembering our oneness. And let us offer them gratitude for allowing us to practice this. For the more we get to practice it, the more we get to witness our truth, the stronger it becomes in us and the weaker the ego becomes. Thank you very much for joining me today. I love you very much. If you would be so kind as to like or comment on the video, they would assist with the listing. If you have any questions, I would be delighted to look at them 
and try to offer a response. Again, I love you, and God willing, we will see each other tomorrow. Peace.